Hello everybody, Horvade here. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney's Trials and Tribulations. Last time we did our investigation as Edgeworth. And in the final case. This time we are going into trial with my uh, tenth cup of hot chocolate in total in this series. That is, I've done my counting correctly. I think it's ten. So yeah. <laughs> and we don't know who the prosecutor is, but we're gonna go into the first day of trial. I don't know if this trial is split up into two parts or not. This first day is split up into two parts or not. But we'll find out. Oh my! Mr. Luis feels that way about me? Apparently. He isn't aware of your real secret after all. No time to be embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm just highly accustomed to that sort of thing. Worry not. You can't remember what they saw the night of the Mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Luis is the witness to it? No. I believe that none will be the first thing to stand. in the very instant which you carried out the crime. I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you killed Miss Lee Stone, correct? That is correct. It wasn't me. Very well then. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? If you're correct in the case for me, I'll... Don't worry. I made necessary arrangements. I see. Iris, how do you have a job without people? But right now, I am a defense attorney. A defense attorney's job is to believe in people. Please feel better at it. That's what my friend told me once. Mr. Edgeworth, I simply ask that you watch inside for yourself whether or not I am fit to be cast by an entrusted. Very well, sir. If it's in your capable hands. Time again, eh? But now I'm fed to both her outfit to hire the other creature. I'm fucking. What the fuck with that accent? Okay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mm, that defense does appear to be ready. However, the same cannot be said for the prosecution of this case. Indeed. I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this court's time. Any prosecutor's chair can only mean that the prosecutor has no confidence in another it's already over part of the chance to become. I am ready to announce my verdict at this time. This court finds the defendant. Objection! Yes! <laughs> yes! The prosecution said, but oh god, what fucking voice did I give her last time? Oh god, that was only earlier this year, wasn't it? Fuck. Oh, I don't remember. I do are. Francisca von Kama. Prosecuting prodigy. Von Kama, you know? Perhaps you wouldn't be of any relief to let me talk to you Manfred von Kama. Legends are a thing of the past, and the von Kama. That is all. I want a special request that you live in today for the purposes of prosecuting this case. If you did, then, then, then you must be quite a big shot, eh? And by the way, the dead. Yes, yes, Your Honor. I'm not certain that I've seen you somewhere before. Or am I just imagining things? It's very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you're imagining things, Your Honor. Miss Uncommon, do you have anything to say? There's no such a weakling at this man and among those at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> there, there isn't, but I'm sure once before I... I told you, there is no such weakling. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? I got your kid or something thinking I call him. Uh, Bailey, if we move that with the... Hold it! I have no objection to the whip. But you don't! Prosecuting can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. But there's still only one truth, and that is why I stand here to prove today. This promise to be very interesting, Miles Edgeworth. I think it's Phoenix are right here today. But looking at you now, maybe this is what I've been waiting for all this time. Uh, my mentor, Pamper Van Garstop, born and raised in German. Prosecutor 13, cannot do proper German accent, sorry. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I'm not allowed this champ to crush you slip through my fingers. 
I see you brought your flair for the historic. And I'm going to add to the things that I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. Ah! Fate is set. I continue with the proceedings, you are. Very well. Miss Von Carlo, please give an outline in this case. With as little whipping as possible. The murder victim is the thing. Picture book author, Miss Helene Stone. Her body was found in the upper temple court. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremony of sword for a gold statue. The sword in this picture is the weapon in question, correct? Very well. The court accepts the photo of the card. There are no mistake. This was the doing Sister Iris. After all, there was a witness to her crime. Very well. Please bring this one into his hand. So it begins. My first and last trial as a defense attorney. Uh. When did they turn name and occupation, please? Now hold on here. I'm not sure about. I'm, sh I'm not sure about being not sure about campus at all. Um, would you please have a bit of break? Oh, she tried, but her back is bad. Her back is bad. If I recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the sense of her back pain plague witnessed. Uh, may may I have such a crate on the toilet, please? Uh, please uh, and again, your name and occupation, please. Hello, me. We'll hide in the head of the girl temple and go back. Hey, bikini. Got a bikini. Nice to meet everyone. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Ah! The courtroom in the Garden of Holy Judgment. Those with lechery in their hearts should leave this sanctuary at once. Do you want me to leave? I'm going to take your bikini for the first time. I tell you, I'm a sight to be holding for. <laughs> in any case, witness, I knew they used to call the crime to place on night in question. That's right. I just don't want to believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way my dear little liars would do anything like that. Let's hear what you have to say then. First tell us to boot your own movement that night, eh? <sighs> the night of the murder. That night I was helping that boy with the training in the temple, but once you could see my back like that, the black one. So I left Ira felt the acolyte, which went out of the court temple. No bath for your temple, you see, and I need a long hot soap. After I finished, just as I was heading back, that's why I saw it. Hmm. Well, it's simply coincidence that you found yourself returning to the Gothic Temple. Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been so much pain, I would have stayed at the Iron Temple. That's only a pretty important statement you just made. <coughs> oh, God. That went down the wrong tube. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, God, sorry. There's only one problem in the testimony that I can see. And you're not about to fall for the first hurdle now, are you, Miles Edgeworth? Okay, Edgeworth, please begin your public examination. Hold it! <sighs> what is the inner temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be doing that for you to question, ma'am. Will I do that as please? Uh, in order to do that, a, strong, a play strong spiritual power. I got it. Cannot fucking read. A play strong spiritual power is required. Small temple across the Rusty Bridge called the Inner Temple. I got like one spent an entire night here to undergo intense training. I don't exactly need help with this process. It's not quite exactly. You can't be performed without none supervising. Like a tutor watching to make sure a spoiled child studies. So with a whip in your face. If that's the case, then why did you return to the Inner Temple? Where the murder took place? Back like that. Up! Hold it! Not the Iris, sir. You left the Iris to help with what? I you think the acolyte's training, of course. It was just past 10 p.m. till we started to enter the training exercise proper. Let me go place to our main with the disciple. But this job is simply to watch over the acolytes so they don't pass away. So we confirm this point again that night. You met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes. She's a gentle, honest girl. She never once failed to follow my directions. Oops. Left Iris at the end of that flight, returned to the Hunter Temple. Iris.
Nurse says that she was in her room until the murder was discovered. Objection! Well, this have to go undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. Let's stay rest on the powers of observation and memory, after all. Well, well, well! Don't worry, I'm working up to the best. A woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hazakura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. Let me see between your testimony and that of the defendant Iris. He claims after ringing the lights out, though, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to your temple at all. <coughs> no! Objection! She said that. A defendant or a witness. Who's more likely to lie, do you suppose? The defendant is simply lying to cover her back. Objection! But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Arthur Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better ally. But that is odd. Whatever the reason, she believed that she would lie. Mm. It doesn't need to have honest eyes. Ah! All people lie. That's my belief. I'm not even being whipped at you. You deserve it. Anyway, neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie. Which means, I must call your memory into question. If you hit me up, no, it doesn't mean that you want to play that game, do you? Now, oh, well, that didn't exactly lie. My memory is perfect. It's the clear, especially in winter. Then, I suppose it's too late to end the cross examination, eh? Miss Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of the witness, you will need to show me a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone would do a trick. The police had to come about a boot iris to accept them. They decided to cross examination. Also, agree with that system on karma. Everyone will lie. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone lies at some point in time. So back like that. Up. So she would have dressed exactly as she had been at dinner. Hold it! Are you sure that you're not making a mistake? You young man, you need to get your estimation me up to the floor. From the floor. I was always at the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb. You're making a mistake. I think that I made a mistake. Next one finished there with us. That's a wonder. Yup! We're just looking at one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met. She was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course! That's a very important piece of clothing, I'll have you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Objection! Hold it right there! Why, why do you have that? That's the question of the day now, isn't it, Miss Von Carl? How well, do you know that this hood would have given to someone as a gift that night? Before the lights out bell was rung. What? What? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness has seen the defendant as she claims, then the IRC saw should have been missing this very hood. Well, well, well! Not a bad feeling at all. Like this? Judges are just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. After my bath. I took my bath on number 11. I thought I should return to the inner temple. As I was walking back, I heard noise from the courtyard. I took a look at I was supposed to open the stick of lease. And with that sort of all things. Truly terrible sight, didn't you? 
I was in your place, it would be much like Miss Von Karma whipping it to her worth in two and four. We sing it all from this very chair. It was something like that. Let's judge. And then there's some of the burden prayers that have to come to. I don't look the fool if I can't have such foolishness. <laughs> anyway, this case is mine. Miles Edgeworth. Call your own by their full name. Can you do something about that habit of yours? <laughs> she will always call everyone by her, by her full names. Hold it! Eleven, okay. How far is it from your room to the air temple? Let me think a moment. About twenty minutes on these stumps of mine. About fifteen minutes to rescue bridge from Hazelburg Temple. Air Temple is just beyond the bridge. Still, you never made it back there, Bella, did you? But that's right. I was heading along the walkway toward the main hall. Hold it! <sighs> you say you heard a noise. So, just like that. I could only be the sound of the victim falling. It's very quiet in the temple, you know. You can even hear a snow falling from the branches. So, just like that. But then, what did the noise you heard a big snow falling to the ground? I never thought of that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Next time the lab, get the whipping. Well, whatever the source of the sound, I look over at the courtyard. Hold it! It's that sort of all things. This is the second time the winners have touched by the senior planet. But, some doubt remains in these claims. And guess what the that means? Because you're a looking young man doesn't give you the right to it. Murderers stab the victim with a sword. I'm trying to call exactly who it was you saw as clearly as you can. Well, if you're a handsome young man, I'll forgive you. Oh, now that you mention it, there was something awfully strange about that. It has been fucking all this time. Please don't come even keep us in suspense. Well, what? Good. <coughs> That's right, it's coming back to me. I just want to wear your hood. Oh, shit. Not something without place, but I'm excited now, doesn't it? After all, it's safe to get put away someone, right? Yeah. Hmm. You got your own grave, my health Edward. What do you say, Mr. Edward? They just have money for it. Maybe it's my pure fucking disadvantage. But I can't see any other lead at the moment. No, no, I would like you to pay for the asset testimony. If you want to hang yourself, you need only to ask how gladly you would you be <sighs> Witness, got their statement to your testimony. No problem. <laughs> hang on the whip. Are you taking it? You're sure about that? Yes, after all, we always wear the same clothes. Ah, I don't mean because we're cool, you understand. It's our style. Yes, that's it. But that's what you need to explain yourself. Anyway, she looked different from normal, so that really stuck out. Like me holding a whippet puppy instead of my whip. Why is a whippet puppy? At least it might bite you, not someone else. I just didn't have her hood on, I'm sure of it. <sighs> Very well. Now please tell us about the victim act. Hold it! Staying in the corner of the courtyard. I'm going to staying in overlook the courtyard, correct? Which means the victim moved on the second floor. No, no, how do you look at the single story building? But the mountain itself slopes downward. Right. Which elevates the main gate side of the temple and the guest rooms in the back. I moved that up. Okay. It's about the high of the story building. I see. You think you're staying in one of these elevated rooms, right? Yes, I, I should know. I'm the one who carried the things to a room after all. Getting us all of the production. What makes you so sure of all this? It's just like I told you earlier, I didn't check you on that thing. After death. Body felt empty after death. Okay. The noise from the courtyard, okay? Nope, just like that. Your one smart sister, I'll give you that. The report states that the victim's body was covered in bruises. You see, it fall from around 10 feet in the the way that's not mistaken then. Yep, yep, I'm wearing just a pretty face, especially in winter. A woman of faith, after all, the head of Apothecary Temple. Only two of them working for What's wrong, Miles? Is there no stabby comeback from our... I feel like she's lying. It's very powerful testimony, too. They 
Let's have seen the answer to my set of friends. Tap the victim. Only two things I could believe in right now. My client hires my own friends. Logic. That's what I like to say, anyway. Oh, please do my train is something else, especially in winter. However, I think you are overlooking one thing. Miss Von Karma, would you advance to take another look at the autopsy report? The, the autopsy report? Victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Oh, that's right. It says after death right here. The scene witness claims that it seems contradictory. And the venom stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard. How did the victim go on to take a ten foot fall? <laughs> order, order! The victim was killed in the mill. Mm. Okay. If that is the case, the victim must have been killed in the room. Don't you agree? That is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed and in her own room. She was ten foot out of her window down the courtyard below. Objection! Well, that inside of the problem is coming from. She was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? Oh, well, let's find cover without any blood. No trace of blood was found in the victim's room. You know what? You know what? This is called trace of blood to be found out. Very glorious playoff here. But well, if there is no blood in the room, they claim that. Ah, no need for me to go over this. Foolish toilet, I'm sure your honor is more aware of what a stab wound did to my blood. What if it was my blood? Very well, but I've actually lost a moment of blades and thirst, you know? That is true. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost to her body, that would be when the blades are moved. Indeed. Look up with the weapon still in place. That's the lid on the wound. That's true. With the weapon down the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. I'm probably reasonable than I'm thinking. We can come to a conclusion that I can throw an owl window with the sword still in place. This ruins all the contradictions. Ora, ora, ora! I think we did the probable version of events. I know it's from Francisco von Karma. She will get to take control of every vital point. I am losing my voice! It seems that we need a clear testimony from the witness. Who's also positioned on your part and tell us only the facts, please. With this, please, remain standing in the crate. I'm gonna show me short now. Ugh, my throat's lost it. My winter snow has bent me out sick, pushing my back in my mood. Sister, please give us your testimony. We'll give you a figurous massage once we are finished here. With her whip. With her whip. <laughs> Boy, all right, all right. Just that. Oh boy, I did not see the confirmation. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy, time to press everything. Hold it! At that time, with the victim bleeding, well, I was very shocked that to be seeing all this, of course. But not entirely sure. I don't think I saw any blood, I don't think. I'm sure that you did. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. I sit there borrowing the fucking door, so yeah. Oh my god, I won't fucking look. Stop, Joy Thunder. Okay, let me clear on one very important point. You actually see the incident with the victim of stab. Hold it! Think carefully of this 
very important. It's hard to talk about it. I think it's all well I'm worth. No, I don't feel like this one is all pretty and mystically spotty. I'm not making conclusive, but I really support her theory. The victim was stabbed in a room and then dropped into the courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Edwards. Right! I swear on the iris too! And if anyone was arrested, the man came in a room. And her butt stuck on clothing when he pulled in the corner. What? The clothes were blood sucked at the bottom. Mmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. Going back to his previous statement, you said that you saw a little bleeding from the victim's stab. But now, you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well, I say that I, when I saw it, when I saw What'd you see? I didn't ask the poor woman get stabbed. I just want her pulling the sword out of her plane today. Pulling the sword out. Molly, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. Where did you add this statement to your testimony? What was that important? More important than you can imagine. Plunge into the hood! Kill my ass! That is not up to fail. Sister Bikini, you're a reliable witness. At least, I'd like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. What do you mean? You make it sound so I'm a liar. But, get hands on your so I'll forgive you again. What contradictions are you talking about? The scene that the witness claims to have seen. The weapon was thrust up to the hilt and to the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both these are completely impossible. What do you mean? You need to claim you. Oh! Explain yourself. To start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone who killed with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Objection! Doesn't appear. What meaningless jerk. I too may appear to be weak and frail. But I can crush down under my heel and make them weak, so should I choose. Objection stands! I, I went to the back there, I must have been. <laughs> this is the only issue. But this sort of truly stabbed into the body up to the hill. Well, just look at all the branches of it. It certainly wouldn't come out smoothly. That's... We also have the problem with the amount of bleeding. The true amount of bleeding is left in the body and acts to blood of course. However, when a weapon is shaped like this, it's entirely different story. It would be too large for the blade to completely stop the blood. Objection! That, that's nothing more than a You know, you're making a step with the city's ego. You know, weapon of this nature may still sometimes fall out fully, but it's still sometimes out of order. Objection! I'm not finished. I'm still one more conclusive contradiction. You still got more? This one is simple. This one really goes past him all the way to hill. Look at the blood on the tip of it. This witness is telling the truth. There should be blood along the entire length of the sword. Ah! Oh, no, no, no. How about Miles Edward? I think this many people have a single piece of evidence. All the other two that are from one. It's that. Well, what did it all mean? No problem. We're going to come to regard the murder weapon, but I'm just one of the only one answer. And that is. The weapon used to kill the victim, but not the sister. What? A foolish and foolish idea born with the foolish mind of a foolhardy, foolish fool. Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think to start with the murder weapon? Well, the victim was not even fooling Exactly. However, what of this is the only place we have to assume such a thing. The present left by the scene was too strong. That is what influenced us. It is not to believe that Sixth Seeker was the murderer. Great, now what is the fucking murder weapon? Three, the Sixth Seeker was not the murder weapon. Even if that is the case, it tainted nothing, Martha Edwards. Sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stand the victim with a sword like object. Hmm. That's true. It's not been there ever. Not as so. I like about you to answer the obvious question, Regis. The obvious question. Yes, namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? The 
is what I was saying is when he said we'd be all him surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us if it's sort of like object that's found. But, get a question in full karma. No evidence for that kind of stuff. Mm. Now I'm going to throw it in the pile. How about that murder weapon? Check it easy. Excuse me, can I say something? I guess I'll remember something next time. What is it, sister? I was just thinking, it's possible that this may be what actually happened was the chip over there. What did I think going on about here? The murder weapon. Maybe. I think I might know where to sword with this phone stuff. You what? Well, the I think we need to hear a testimony from you one more time, sister. The microphone almost fell. There we go. Possible. What else? What else could this old woman have seen? There are these snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here's a photograph. Right. Snowmobile, yeah, I see. Well, apparently I have an interesting theory. There's, uh, footprints, too. Tracks begin in front of the group temple. <clears throat> From all the way to Dusky Bridge. That's solved your pesky little problem, yes? The Earth's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in the winter. Maybe the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Is she really going to ruin her dispose of the murder weapon? May the edge the cross examination, please. Well, if you really found for the stuff, I would like to look at the goddamn tracks to it up. Because there are footprints there, and the uh, snowmobile drives over the footprints. Crunch. Crunch. I only 
gonna find it towards the right and fix him stuff. I think I must have used it. Oh boy. Hold it! Refresh our memory. How long are we not that for? Like I said, I'm only in 10 20 minutes. I thought I got to the bridge back in 10 minutes because there's no one here. But I have to go see that more than enough time. Is that all you just didn't see, Miles Edgeworth? Hold it! Well, it would have been awful, time-wise. One of them may not have placed it. Ooh, and what the hell did Victoria let me do? What a green thing, Your Honor. Why did Miller do all this? Why go to the murder weapon when there are other methods? Hmm, too many other weapons. You guys thought I'm too close Back to me for Hobo to slice them. What do you think you're so fun for a while, Your Honor? What? You know, on top as always. Anyway. Remember the reason the fact to me the defendant could have done this. I don't even want to smoke them in the river. Not a point to me, my old man. I'm going to be a piece of iron. There's no reason to look like a murder weapon. Luckily, there's surely a problem with this test. I'm going to do is start poking holes in the small town. So, no stop at this point. Something. The Princess Snowmobile was used on Night the Murder. We finally accepted the inevitable, it seems, smiles at first. I got it, I got it. However, when the witness says it's true, then why is there only one set of tracks? What do you mean? I have some public earth that will do the weapon, river, and then return. If this were the case, then naturally there should be two sets of tracks in the snow. Those are running out to the bridge and those from coming back. You're right. Mm. 
right. But what's hot is when an attack is coming from her mouth. The snowmobile wasn't there, right? I haven't seen anything here, Dr. Bird. You might just fail to see it, Hunter. Maybe, but when I make it back to the current temple. It was there, by the main gate. The snowmobile, I mean. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow, too. Subarctic night. Your Honor, actually, there just might be one individual who may be helpless. Really? You know something, but I've seen the snowmobile tonight of the murder. I'm not sure if he saw it or not. But there are two things about him that do come to mind. Which are, first, that he saw something incredible in the night of the murder. And the second being, this individual that I'm thinking of when wandering on the side of that cold night. In other words, he is our kind of idiot. Take your head right with this idiot, you're talking to boot. Take that! This guy must be a product of June the <laughs> Nope! There's only our butt, so this the victim. This dude, interesting. And why would he wander the boot outside the night of murder? That's. I can tell him all about the designs for Iris. It may cause his credibility as a witness before I can call him. He is, after all, an artist. He was perhaps searching for something in the snowy scene and have moved him. Although I cannot guarantee that the reason. And so, this unfortunate, unreliable looking man might have to be what it didn't saw. I am going to extract him from him right here in this courtroom. Summon it you to the witness immediately. I have no choice, do I? I believe he's in the gallery for this trial. It will not take long to summon him. Very well. Larry. You may have escaped me yesterday. But today I'm gonna get everything out of you. The court will now adjourn for a 20 minute break. He's from Karma TC to prepare the next witness. I stood, Your Honor. Good. Well then, court now in recess. Yay, Snowmobile Nightmare! Ay, ay, ay. Larry!